Malaria Victor Malaria is transmitted by female mosquitoes of the family Colthidae, with about 3,300 species of mosquitoes grouped into 41 genera, human malaria is transmitted by only females of the genus Anopheles. Of the approximately 430 Anopheles species, only 30 to 40 per species of those reported as victors in nature. This means 17% of Anopheles mosquitoes species are capable of transmitting the malaria parasite Plasmodium species. Characteristics of the Anopheles mosquitoes Usually they rest up on right surface at an angle of about 45 degrees. So the male and female rest with their abdomens sticking up in the air rather than parallel to the surface on which they are resting. Also, they have legs with a speckled appearance. Distribution Malaria vectors are widely distributed with different species occupying different regions. For example, in Afrotropical regions, usually there are Anopheles gambi and Anopheles finistus, while Anopheles symphysi and Anopheles colifaceus found in Indian subcontinent. Anopheles quadrimaculatus and Anopheles albimanus and Anopheles majora found in North and South America. Life stages of Anopheles mosquitoes Like all mosquitoes, Anopheles go through four stages in their life cycle. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Anopheles eggs are deposited and larva and pupa developed into adulthood, a process that takes approximately one to two weeks. The first stages, egg, larva, and pupa, are aquatic while the adult stage is when the female Anopheles mosquitoes act as malaria vector. The eggs. Adult female lay up 50 to 200 eggs per oviposition. Eggs are laid singly directly on water. Some Anopheles species prefer turbid water exposed to sunlight, like for example Anopheles gambi, while other prefer shaded habitats like Anopheles finistus. Blood meals Some Anopheles mosquitoes prefer to feed on human beings. These mosquitoes call to have anthropophilic behavior, while zoophilic mosquitoes prefer to feed on animals, especially cattle. Another behavior in feeding that some Anopheles mosquitoes feed indoors called endophagic while others feed outdoors called exophagic. After blood feeding, some Anopheles mosquitoes prefer to rest indoors, that called endophilic, while others rest outdoors called exophilic. Before we are going to talk about the vector control, let's take an example. If the textbook describes a mosquito as anthrophilic, endophagic, and exophilic, what does that mean? First, anthrophilic means the mosquito takes the blood meal from human beings. Second, endophagic means it will fight indoor. Third, exophilic tells you that this mosquito prefers to rest outside the dwellings after taking the blood meal. One essential part of reducing malaria disease is by controlling malaria vector anopheles mosquitoes. Vector control includes using different measures. First, indoor residual spraying, IRS, which involves coating the walls and other surface of a house with residual insecticide. Choice and type of insecticide depends on vector biology and resistance of target mosquitoes. Example of these insecticides that have been used for malaria vector, organochlorines, organophosphates, carbamates, and perithroids. For the record, DDT has been found due to negative effects on the environment, while perithroids is the only insecticide approved for use on ITN's insecticide-treated pets and long-lasting insecticide-treated pets. Insecticide-treated nets 
Nets form a protective barrier around people sleeping under them. However, bed nets treated with an insecticide are much more protective than untreated nets. By using less toxic environmentally friendly insecticides such as perthroids that we just mentioned. And insecticide treated pets considered to be affordable and easy to administer. Third measure is personal protection. Personal protection include the use of window screens, wearing light colored clothes, long pants, long sleeve shirts, well constructed houses. All these measures are effective for preventing biting by mosquitoes. Last measure is larva source management LSM. These interventions targeting the larva stage of the mosquitoes and are used in developing countries where habitats are more stable and predictable. World Health Organization recently recommended larva control as appropriate for areas where the larva habitats are few, fixed, and findable. Larva source management include environmental management, which means removal or permanent destruction of mosquito breeding sites. The larva habitats may be destroyed by filling in or drainage of large breeding sites or by intermittent irrigation. Also, using chemical herbiciding that can be applied in the same way as chemical insecticide. In addition, using biocides like Bacillus thuringiensis variolensis that produce proteins that are toxic to mosquitoes and black flies larvae. Toxins from this bacteria can be applied in the same way as chemical insecticide. Last one is using biological control that kill larva mosquitoes but they are not efficient for mosquito control and are not widely used. For example, using predators such as mosquito fish, Gambosia agonis. Thank you for watching. If you like a copy of this map, you can click on the download link in the description below.